Hello, welcome again to my vlog. This is my second vlog. In my previous vlog, I talked about uh, six tips for traveling. But now I want to go further into still uh, into this topic, but still in traveling. So today I'm gonna talk about one of the public transportation in Yogyakarta. So can you guess it? Yeah, exactly. Trans Jogja. Um, Trans Jogja is a bus rapid transit system operated in Yogyakarta as shelters with eight different routes. Um, Trans Jogja operates every day, start from a half past 5 am until half past 9 pm Western Indonesia time. The bus color is green yellow, but now for the new one, the color is blue with air conditioner. Trans Jogja started its operation in February 2008, um, operated by PT. Um, Jogja Tugu Trans. Mm, right now, there are more than 74 buses and more than 100 bus stops on starter with eight different routes. In solo post dated um, 2017 January, um, as much as 40, as much as sorry, as much as 84 sell billions budget is prepared to support the operation of routes and the increase in the number of fleet Trans Jogja in April 2017. The government intended to increase the number of buses with the additions of a fleet of um, 74 units to 100 and 154 units with 17 bus routes. Wow, it is amazing, right? It's a very big number of um, buses that the government tried to increase. Beside that, Trans Subject is a favorite transportation for tra traveler, especially backpacker. So why? Because this bus is cheap. You just pay 3,500 rupiah for a single trip. So you just pay once and change other Trans Subject bus for free as long as you are not go out of the shelter. So you can choose the mode of payment. There are two uh, mode of payment you may use subscription card like this okay this is the subscription card or you can um, just pay cash I suggest you to buy this one if you want to stay in Yogyakarta for a long time and want to travel by Trans Jogja and as an alternative um, for in-city transportations Trans Jogja come, comes as a comfortable easy cheap and safe public transportations if you have any question regarding your destinations, you can ask Trans Jogja officer at the bus stop or to the tip attempt in the bus. Although the arrival time of the bus does not always match the display schedule, at least Trans Jogja remains a reliable public transportation, both in terms of comfort and safety up to this moment. Okay, so that is the introductions about Trans Jogja. So now, here is the tips. First, try to find the bus stops nearest with you. Just come in and if you are a newbie, don't hesitate to ask if you are really don't know. And most of the operators are humble and willing to tell you about it. Ask the route and which buses you must use, for example, 1A, 2A, 1B, or 2B according to your destinations. Second, pay attention to the situations and conditions. What I mean is that if, you, uh, if it is holiday, then it might be more crowded than usual. If the place you want to go can be raised by food, I suggest that you to go on foot rather than use Trans Jogja because it will take quite long time since Trans Jogja has its own route. And third, minimize the number of transits. Transit means the interchange of the bus. It takes quite long time because waiting for uh, the bus at the stop transit rate range from 1, if you're lucky, to 15 minutes, even sometimes more than that. There are many routes for, to a place, but try to find the easiest and uh, fastest path to minimize transit if we are in hurry. The fourth, if before we enter the bus and we find the bus is full or very crowded, I suggest that you to wait for the next bus. Usually the distance from one bus to another bus at the same route is not very long and the bus, the other bus might be less crowded. 
and if you already enter but the seats are full and you have to stand I suggest that you to stand at the back work many people used to stand near the door it is never mind if your destination is near however if your destination quite far I advise you to stand back work because it is safer and if you want to go down and our positions away uh, from the door immediately walk to the door if the bus is already running toward the destination stops otherwise we will miss our shelter and have to go down at the next shelter and the last and the most important is don't forget to check your luggage not to get left behind or lost if the bus is full beware of pickpockets who takes advantage of the crowds Okay, so that's all for my vlog today and um, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next vlog. Have a nice traveling in Yogyakarta by the affordable and comfortable public transportations, Trans Jogja. Let's explore Jogja by Trans Jogja. Bye!